Hi everyone, my name is Ming Ng. I'm a Vice President in the Cloud Enablement Team at Goldman Sachs. With me is my colleague, Karthik Ramamurthy, a Vice President in the Tech Risk Advisory Team. Today, we're going to talk about how we use Anthos Config Management to secure and operate Google Cloud resources at Goldman Sachs. Before we dive in, we're going to start by introducing our firm and our respective teams. Then, we'll go over the common challenges with cloud provisioning with the current toolset and how the new paradigms in Anthos Config Management address those challenges. We'll then share with you how and why we use Anthos Config Management at Goldman Sachs. And finally, we'll close out by summarizing the key takeaways of today's discussion. For those who might not be familiar with our firm, Goldman Sachs Group is a leading global investment bank that provides a wide range of financial services across investment banking, security, investment management, and consumer banking to a large and diversified client base that includes corporation, financial institution, governments, and individuals. Founded in 1869, the firm is headquartered in New York and maintain offices in all major financial centers around the world. Despite its long history, innovation is at the heart of Goldman Sachs culture. In fact, one in every four employees is an engineer. I'm from the cloud enablement team at Goldman Sachs. Our main focus is cloud governance at scale. I think what really sets us apart from other cloud engineering organizations is our shift left security posture where we engage our colleagues in tech risk advisory team early on in the process to ensure that our architecture is secure by design. And we have been partnering with Google Cloud for the past few years to provide scalable, agile, and innovative business solutions to our clients. Now I'm gonna pass it on to Karthik to first talk about the role of his team, and then he'll frame today's discussions by introducing the common challenges of cloud provisioning and the new paradigm in Anthos Config Management. Thanks, Ming. Hello, everyone. I'm Karthik Ramamurthy, part of Tech Risk Advisory within Goldman Sachs. Tech Risk Advisory is the agent of Shift Left Security. We engage with all business units within Goldman, covering a wide range of technologies to ensure security is prioritized early in the SDLC process. We provide risk-driven approach to treat the security gaps. In the current context, we partner closely with cloud enablement team to define and describe the governance and security controls to prepare for the general availability of Google Cloud before opening up for business. We often collaborate with other security teams within the firm to prioritize the requirements and build up the security controls based on NASCO prioritization techniques. As part of general availability within Goldman, we partnered with Google account teams to perform service assessments on the Google services end scope. This ensures Google operator access and underlying architectures are intact to enforce protection of our client. We also perform threat modeling, design reviews, and penetration testing to mitigate security vulnerabilities in platforms and applications in a timely manner. Finally, we evangelize all our learnings and security findings to define security reference architectures, patterns, and practices to accelerate the cloud adoption. We also deliver security policies as a code to enforce directive and preventive controls to maintain the cloud security posture. Securing the operations for production workflow is paramount for us. Now let's zoom into some of the day to SecOps challenges with contemporary methods of cloud provisioning. The major friction point for cloud engineers is the fragmented tool sets for infrastructure and application deployments. Especially to deploy cloud native workloads, engineers need to constantly contact switch between IAC and deployment pipelines to achieve the desired target state. From the security perspective, supporting multiple variants of IAC programming languages is a challenge. 
it's hard for security teams to deliver policy as a core without impacting developer productivity. The use often demand consistency with high release velocity, and it's hard to get it right all the time at scale. Another concern is the asynchronous nature of contemporary cloud deployment models. It means, except at the deployment time, there is no strong contract or reconciliation between intent defined in the source code versus actual ta target state in the runtime. This is evident, especially when engineers use divergent tool sets to deploy applications and infrastructure to the cloud. This often results in configuration drifts. Anthos Config Management, or ACM, attempts to solve these challenges. Now let's dig, dig into some of the key concepts and features of ACM. ACM, or Anthos Config Management, embraces config as data where you can use any tool, language, or APIs to manipulate the configuration data, but the final state of configuration always remains consistent. This is nothing new in the world of Kubernetes. You can use any tools or templating languages such as Helm, Customize, or Ansible to generate the config files. However, the final data structure and resource model always remains consistent in the Kubernetes API server. This standardizes the application of normalized security policies regardless of the tool of choice. Anthos Config Management adopts the same Kubernetes resource model to standardize the config as data for both infrastructure and application deployments. Config Controller is a key component in Anthos Config Management that binds non-Kubernetes resources to the Kubernetes resource model. Config Controller orchestrates Google Cloud resources as Kubernetes resources and manages the entire lifecycle through native Kubernetes APIs. Config Sync, and another component in ACM, continuously reconciles the state of a source code with Kubernetes resource model in real time. This ensures the associated source code repo as a single source of truth, thus eliminating the configuration types. This allows consistent GitHub style deployment of infrastructure, applications, and cloud services. Finally, with the latest ACM releases, all these features are bundled and packaged as a managed service offering called KCC as part of GKE, or Google Kubernetes Engine. Behind the scenes, the config controller uses a GCP native feature called workload identity to secure the deployment accounts. Workload identity binds the Kubernetes service accounts to act as a Google service accounts. Thus, KCC inherits the associated IAM permissions seamlessly without exporting any keys or passwords into, into the clusters. With workload identity, you can scope project or product specific service accounts to the dedicated namespaces within KCC. This provides a uh, limited blast radius and prevents the usage of over service accounts or deployments. Continuing our philosophy of security policies as a code, Azure Config Management enables defining the organization policies, gatekeeper policies, or VPC service controls as code. Organization policies are governance controls for Google Cloud resources that can be deployed as KRM definitions at granular level within the GCP resource hierarchy at the organization level, folder, or project levels. The policy controller component in ACM enables defining of custom OPA, OPA or open policy agent policies to enforce custom application standards or constraints for cloud service configurations and deployments. Collectively, ACM offers a comprehensive feature set to manage and deliver cloud governance and security at scale. Now I pass on to Ming to show how we are utilizing Anthos Config Management within Goldman Sachs. Thank you. Thanks, Tartik. 
Before I dive into how we operate our Google Cloud environment with Anthos Config Management, I'd like to go over our cloud governance tenets so that you can see why we choose Anthos Config Management for the job. There are four major cloud governance tenets at Focal One Set. First and foremost, everything should be cloud native. We don't want to abstract away the power of the cloud, and our engineers should experience the cloud in its purest form. If any customizations are needed, we'll partner with cloud provider during the early product development cycle to incorporate our requirements. That's exactly what we have done as an active participant in the private preview of Anthos Config Management. Second, our cloud environment should be secure by design. We want to have strong enterprise guardrail for our cloud environment so that our engineers can operate freely and efficiently within the pre-approved architecture patterns. You'll see our emphasis on enterprise guardrail in the next section of this presentation. Third, we want a well-defined shared responsibility model. This tenet goes beyond the typical shared responsibility model between a cloud provider and its users. This tenet extends the model to our internal Goldman teams as well, especially between the cloud enablement team and the application teams. Cloud resources are either owned by the application team or the cloud enablement team. There is no ambiguity. As you'll see in the next few slides, this separation is very important to allow the enterprise guardrails and the applications to evolve independently. The fourth tenet is self-service. Our engineers should be able to build, deploy, and manage their cloud services without ever needing to go through another team, including us, the cloud enablement team. With those four tenets in mind, let me give you an overview of our Google Cloud environment. At a very high level, we have two separate GCP organizations. On the left, we have our production organization. That's where different business units will build, deploy, and manage various business workloads. In these organizations, we have a folder hierarchy that mirrors our businesses and team structure for the ease of management. Each application will have a GCP project to house all the cloud resources it needs to run the business workload. To protect all the critical data and workload, we need to have strong enterprise guardrails that include number one, an all-encompassing VPC service control perimeter to prevent data exfiltration. And number two, a set of baseline organization policies that are defined at the top of the organization and inherited by the folder hierarchy. Number three, a set of pipeline policies that enforces consistent naming convention and billing labels for all cloud resources. In addition, we also want to limit the blast radius so that each application can be insulated from the changes by other teams. Now, on the right, we have a separate innovation organization where our engineers can have elevated access and can learn and experiment with Google services in a safe environment, isolated from the rest of the firm. There, there's absolutely no business data in this organization. There is also organization that we can test new enterprise guardrail, such as custom organization policies before deploying to production. As you can see, even in this highly simplified version of our Google Cloud environment, there are already many types of resources and controls that needs to be built, tested, deployed, and managed over time in a consistent manner across both organizations. How do we balance the need for security with the need of our engineers for autonomy and flexibility to innovate? This is where Anthos Config Management truly shines. First, we can describe our intent for our Google Cloud environment using a single resource model across the board. This will include all the enterprise hierarchy and guardrails I mentioned before, the GCP folders hierarchy, the organization policies, and the VPC SC perimeter. Now that we have our intent in a single resource model, we can manage our intent, which can evolve over time in our Git repository. This gives us a clear audit trail and review process. We can create feature branches and merge requests to manage the lifecycle of our intents just like any other software product. And to top it all off, 
our Google Cloud environment will be reconciled continuously with the in stated intent in our Git repository to prevent configuration drift with config sync. And through workload identity, we can bind each namespace to a GCP service account that manage all route resources in a GCP project. This way, we can limit the blast radius of any changes made by our service account. And finally, we can enforce standards such as naming convention and building labels for all cloud resources using gatekeeper policies with policy controller. This diagram shows how Anthos config management manifests our intent into reality for our Google Cloud environment. On the left, we have our central organization level Git repo managed by the cloud en enablement team that expresses our intent for the enterprise hierarchy and guardrails. On the right, we have multiple project level repositories, each managed by an application team to build, test, and deploy cloud resources within their respective GCP projects. In the center, we have Anthos config management, reconciling the state of our Google Cloud environment continuously with the stated intent from both repositories. As you can see, Anthos config management allows us to formalize the shared responsibility model between the cloud enablement team and the application team. The cloud enablement team manages all the enterprise hierarchy and guardrails using the central organization level Git repo so that our environment is secure by design. Whereas the application teams build, deploy, and manage all their project resources using their respective project level repository so that their application lifecycle is self-service. And for added efficiency, we can create innovation branch from the production branch to test new enterprise guardrails, such as new org policies in a separate innovation organization before we merge the new policy to production to avoid any business disruption. Some key takeaways. With any adoption of new paradigms, there will always be challenges along the way. In our case, Converting from Terraform to Kubernetes resource model was challenging on multiple fronts, both in the learning of a new model and the incomplete coverage of some Google Cloud resources. But thanks to the close partnership with the Anthos config management product team and the support of our Google account team, we were able to overcome the steep learning curve in the beginning and have most of the feature gaps in the early preview version of the product addressed. Now, here is the list of our favorite feature in Anthos config management. With config controller, we can use Kubernetes resource model across applications and infrastructure deployment. With config sync, the state of our cloud resources are continuously reconciled with our intent to prevent configuration drift. With workload identity, we can limit the blast radius of any change made by application team. And with policy controller, we can enforce consistent standard across provisioning of all cloud resources. As a result, our Google Cloud environment is cloud native, secure by design, has a well-defined shared responsibility model, and is self-service for our engineer. And that's why we choose Anthos Config Management to secure and operate our Google Cloud environment. I hope our discussion today shed some light on the common challenges, of cloud provisioning at scale and how they can be addressed using Anthos config management. Hope this has been helpful and thank you for joining us today.